Our other developing story tonight, the spread of gun violence continues in Chicago. The latest victim is a 15-year-old girl, a high school honor student. She was shot this afternoon at 42nd and Oakenwald. That's in the Kenwood neighborhood. Darlene Hill spoke to her parents tonight and has our report live from Comer Children's Hospital. Darlene. Yeah, Bob, not a conversation I wanted to have tonight with those grieving parents. They tell me that their 15-year-old daughter was a special kid. She was excited about having attended the presidential inauguration in Washington, D.C. just a couple of weeks ago. And she was looking forward to spending part of the summer in Paris as part of a student exchange program. But instead of finalizing those plans, they're now making funeral arrangements. <laughs> You never get used to hearing a mother's moans and cries when she loses a child. Hadiah Pendleton was killed this afternoon, gunned down in a park near her high school on Chicago's South Side. What would you say to the people who pulled the trigger? Shame on you. Shame on you. Really? Like, what were you thinking? These are just children? Witnesses told police the 15-year-old sophomore had just finished taking exams at King College Prep. Classes were dismissed early, so Pendleton and her friends went to the park to hang out. Moments later, witnesses say a young man appeared with a gun and randomly started shooting. The school was good, but the neighborhood was not, and that when we stepped foot outside the school, anything could happen to us. King High School made news last month when the students staged a protest, a three-hour sit-in about the school's new after-school policy. The principal no longer allowed the students to wait in the school at the end of the day while waiting for their parents to pick them up. Some of the students told me their classmate would still be alive had the school doors been open. And we were able to be in a place that we could call like our safe haven after the bell rings, after school is out of session. I don't think it would have happened. Tonight, CPS officials tell us that after the sit-in, they changed their policy and now allow students to wait inside the school for their parents to pick them up, but many of them do not. Pendleton was an honor student, a majorette at King, and played on the school's volleyball team. I'm not worried about where she's going. I know who has her. I just miss her. My heart, there's a whole section of my heart that's gone. <laughs> her father says she was a good kid who always did the right thing. He's upset that more isn't being done to stop the senseless shootings in Chicago. Get the guns out of the hands of the people that don't need to have them. And I can tell you also tonight that, Bob, that a local community organization is offering a $1,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest. And we did just receive a, um, a late email tonight from, Chicago, from the Chicago Police Department telling us that the... Uh, Victim, 15-year-old victim was in the park with 10 or 12 other students. They tell us in the email that the female victim was does not have a history um, and there's uh, an arrest history and there's no indication that she was part of a gang. However, preliminary in information at this point indicates that most of the members of the group with her were gang members and that none of them, I repeat, Bob, none of them stuck around to help her or to give them any information on what they saw. Back to you in the studio. All right, Darlene Hill with the very latest.